Let's review the basics. What are five important things you can do to take care of your teeth? 1. Brush two times a day for at least two minutes each time. Toothy Mare says, make sure to brush your teeth for at least two minutes. If your dentist says to brush for four minutes, go for it. 2. Floss at least once a day. Toothy Mare says, flossing is just as important as brushing. 3. Visit the dentist two times a year for a checkup. Toothy Kathy says, taking care of your teeth is a team effort. Your dentist can coach you on how to be cavity free. 4. Eat healthy foods. Toothy Lauren says, chewing crunchy high fiber fruits like apples and vegetables like carrots can help clean your teeth by scrubbing away plaque. 5. Drink lots of water. Potter the Otter says, Water helps wash away food and acid made by bacteria on your teeth. Drink water after eating. This presentation shows the importance of brushing and flossing our teeth. This mega block represents our teeth and gums. I have bits of Play-Doh. Orange Play-Doh will represent the germs that stick to our teeth. These germs can be called bacteria. Sometimes they're called sugar bugs. Plaque is a group of these germs that get together and plaque sticks to our teeth and does not come off of our teeth until we brush and floss it away. Plaque takes the food that it finds in our mouth after we eat and drink things and plaque loves sugary sweet foods. So these Food particles hide everywhere in our mouth as well, and when the plaque eats those food particles up, it makes acid with them. Acid, when it sits on our teeth for a long time, can cause cavities. So we want to make sure that we are removing the food particles and plaque from our teeth daily. When we brush, we want to brush for at least two minutes. We're going to brush in tiny circles. We want to tilt our toothbrush down towards the gum line. When we brush, we're going to jiggle those germs off of our teeth. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Do the inside. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Brush your chewing surface. Circular motions. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle those germs off your teeth. And as you can see, when I'm finished brushing, there is still food and germs left between our teeth. This is why it is so important to floss our teeth. Many dentists recommend that children use flossers instead of the string floss because it's much easier to get the flosser and hold the flosser in between your teeth, whereas the string floss, you have to wrap it around and reach way in the back. When we floss, I have a flosser here that has some black floss on it to help you see it against my white teeth. The flosser, when we floss, we want to push that flosser up against those teeth so it hugs the tooth. We're not just putting it down in here and going up and down. We actually want to hug that tooth. Wipe that floss against the side of that tooth. Take those germs out of there. And then to get this other chewing surface, we're going to, I mean, in between our teeth. We're going to wipe that floss hug against the tooth again. Pull towards your tooth. Wipe that out of there. Clean your flosser between each tooth so that you know you're getting food and plaque away from your teeth and you're not sticking it back in between your teeth. So you want to clean that off and then continue flossing until it is clean in that area. You want to make sure that you are cleaning all of the food and plaque out of there. So clean in between each set of teeth. There's some more food or germs. So we want to make sure that we are cleaning that out of there and cleaning our flosser off each time we clean. So once we have cleaned between all of our teeth, you can see that now our teeth are clean. This is why it is important to brush and floss every day. What else can you do to protect your teeth? Don't share utensils toothbrushes, food, cups, straws, germs. Toothy Kathy says, babies are born without cavity-making bacteria. Parents pass bacteria to babies when they share utensils, straws, cups, and food. When you share these items, you share your bacteria. What can you do if you go somewhere and you forget your toothbrush? Don't worry, you can use a clean finger. Better yet, if there's a clean washcloth, that will get even more plaque off of your teeth. 
You can floss. If nothing else, make sure to at least rinse your mouth out with mouthwash or water. Toothy Mare says, using a clean washcloth with toothpaste is the best way to clean your teeth if you don't have a toothbrush. Is it important to think about what you eat and drink? Why? Yes. Bacteria in your mouth produce acid. Bacteria make more acid from foods high in sugar and carbohydrates. Beware of the acid attack. The bacteria that stick to our teeth take the foods that we eat and drink and they create acid with it. These germs love sugary, sweet foods and drinks and foods with carbohydrates like chips and crackers. The more of these things we eat, the more acid will be on our teeth. The acid, when it sits on our strong, healthy teeth, softens and weakens them, and that's how we get cavities. What are some healthy foods you can enjoy? Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, things filled with protein like eggs and nuts, and dairy products like cheese and milk are all great healthy foods for your teeth. Ruthie Lauren says, Bacteria can't make as much acid from healthy foods. Drink lots of water for healthy teeth. Water can help wash away some of the acids that get made on our teeth. Water can remove leftover food that the cavity-making bacteria look for. Water has no sugar. Our bodies need water because they're made up of about 70% water. Let's talk candy. Bacteria love living in a sugar-rich environment. They grow in numbers and can make more acid when there is more sugar. Sour candies are very acidic and the acid eats away at the enamel of your teeth. Sour candies are some of the worst candies for your teeth. Chewy and sticky candies are also very harmful to teeth. Toothy Mare says chocolate is a much better choice than sticky, chewy, or acidic candies. Chocolate melts away without sticking to teeth. The Power of Sour this is the tooth of an 11-year-old boy with severe erosion from chewing and sucking on sour candy regularly. What you can do. Limit or stop eating sour candies. Don't suck or chew candies for long periods of time. If you eat sour candy, drink milk or eat cheese afterwards to stop the acids. Drink water after that. Chew sugar-free gum. This produces saliva, which protects your teeth. After eating sour candy or other acidic foods or drinks, wait one hour before brushing your teeth. Brushing right away increases the harmful effects of acid on teeth. Talk to your dentist about eating candy. How much sugar is in one bottle of orange soda? Let's do the math. Four grams of sugar equals one teaspoon of sugar. So if there are 80 grams of sugar in this soda, we divide that by four to find out that there are 20 teaspoons of sugar. What does that look like? 20 teaspoons? Children seven to 10 years old should only have 25 grams or six teaspoons of sugar a day. The amount of sugar in this soda is more than three times greater than the amount they should have in a day. I'm going to count out 20 teaspoons of sugar. teaspoons of sugar. Hey, what are you doing? I just need one more to finish my masterpiece. Did you drink all those? Uh, straight. Well, not all. 
today. Do you know how much sugar you drank? Hmm? Each can has almost 10 teaspoons of sugar. Have one Super Gopi sized soda, and that's 32 teaspoons of sugar from one drink. Think how much that is in a year. If you drink three cans of soda a day, easy, you'll be drinking a quarter pound of sugar. That's almost two pounds of sugar a week. More than seven pounds a month. And you drink over 91 pounds of sugar a year. That's more than your own body weight, just from soda. So, what are you saying? Did you ever think of water? <sighs> Refreshing. What do you call that again? Water. Huh. Sweet. Rethink your drink. Choose water. It's important to know how much sugar is in the things that we eat and drink. But don't forget to look at the serving size. This bottle of soda has two and a half servings. With 31 grams of sugar per serving, let's calculate how much sugar that is. 31 grams of sugar times two and a half servings equals 77 and a half grams of sugar. Divide that by four and that's almost 20 teaspoons of sugar. Beware of sports drinks. Sports drinks contain sugar and acid which can lead to cavities. Water is good for everyone. Toothy Kathy says, Remember, our bodies are about 70% water. When we exercise, we lose water by sweating. Drinking water is how we stay hydrated. Water is the way to go. Reading labels of sugary cereals. How much sugar is in one serving of cereal? Look at the nutrition facts on your cereal to find out how much sugar is in it. On this label, one cup is equal to 12 grams of sugar. Divide 12 by 4 and that tells us there are 3 teaspoons of sugar per serving. Toothy Lauren says, that's half of your total sugar for the day. Watch out! These bowls have more than one serving. Does a one cup serving of cereal look like the picture on the cereal box? No. Be aware of how much cereal you're actually eating. If you're eating more than a serving size, you're eating more than 12 grams of sugar. What are some sneaky healthy foods? Sometimes we might think a food is healthy for our teeth, but it isn't. Like dried fruit. Dried fruit is sticky and contains a lot of sugar, so it's very harmful to our teeth. Smoothies can be a good healthy snack if you're making them at home with fresh fruits, but if you're going somewhere to purchase that smoothie, chances are it's made with sugar-filled fruit syrup. Juice contains a lot of sugar. Beware of juices made from citrus fruits because they contain sugar and acid. Fruit snacks are very sticky and stick to our teeth, so they can be harmful as well. Health drinks be careful how much sugar is in there, check the label, and sometimes they even add acid too. Diet soda doesn't have sugar, but it contains acid, and it's just as harmful to our teeth as regular soda. Beware of granola, because usually it has dried fruits that stick to our teeth. Sometimes granola bars have as much sugar in them as a candy bar. And be careful to notice how much sugar is in the yogurt that you choose. Some yogurts are loaded with sugar. Make sure you choose a low sugar alternative. We need to protect our teeth. What are some activities that hurt your teeth? Chewing on hard, crunchy candy. Chewing on pencils or pens. Chewing on ice. Drinking things that are high in sugar and acid. Smoking and chewing tobacco. And using our teeth to do things like tear open packages are all very harmful to our teeth. Remember to keep your teeth healthy and strong. Do you play sports? If you play football, baseball, soccer, karate, or any sports with other people, you may need to wear a mouth guard to protect your teeth. Ask your dentist about using a mouth guard.
Mouth guards protect your lips, tongue, cheeks, and reduces chances of chipped or broken teeth, nerve damage to a tooth, or tooth loss. Step one, use a bit of toothpaste. Not much, a pea-sized amount will do. Step two, start brushing your back teeth and molars. Brush the outside of your upper and lower teeth. Hold the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle. Movements should be gentle and short. Brushing the teeth from top to bottom and from bottom to top. You could also move the toothbrush in small circular motions. Step three, brush the inside of your upper and lower teeth. Remember to reach and clean back molars too. Step four, brush the chewing surfaces with back and forth motions. Step five, now you should clean the rest of your mouth. Brush gently inside of your cheeks and your tongue. Step six, spit out any excess toothpaste and rinse. 